All right, this is Mo Agostino, Chief Commodity Strategist with Farms.Commerce Management. It's the 10th year of the 2021 U.S. Corn Belt Crop Tour. We're in Champaign, Illinois, right? Decatur, somewhere in there. Uh, University of Illinois with Fred Bilo and team. We have Stephen Schwartz. Stephen Schwartz with us. He works with Fred and, and uh, a bunch of other students up here. And they're doing a bunch of research trials. I love coming up here because Fred and his team are learning stuff every year. And so um, a lot of farmers like to do a lot of apply nitrogen to corn. Yeah. Um, if they want to do it to beans, can they and how much do they need to do? Yeah. So for, for soybeans, as a crop, it needs a lot of nitrogen. We don't think of soybeans as needing a lot of nitrogen, and that's because nodules, uh, inherently soybeans can produce about half of the total nitrogen that they need. But to achieve truly high yield soybeans, we need to be fertilizing with nitrogen to be able to capture the maximum yield potential. Right. So the thing is, soybeans are a different crop than corn. And for corn, it's all about placing that nitrogen right beside the base of the plant to get maximum uptake. But in this trial, we've seen last year that when we put uh, nitrogen in a two by two band right at the base of the soybean uh, plant at planting, we decreased the nodulation of that soybean crop and we got a yield reduction. But if we just broadcast 75 pounds of nitrogen as 32% UAN pre-plant, we got bigger plants, we're able to close the, the canopy quicker for increased weed control, right. and we got a six bushel yield advantage. So fertilizing uh, soybeans and, and corn with nitrogen, we gotta do it in two different ways because with soybeans, placement matters, and you gotta make sure you're placing your nitrogen safely so you're not decreasing the soybean's ability to produce its own nitrogen through uh, fixation and the nodules that the soybean plant has. So what you're really trying to do is, is grow a bigger plant, correct? We're trying to build a bigger plant that's going to be able to capture more sunlight. And that's what it's really all about for soybeans is capturing more sunlight, bigger leaves, and when we put nitrogen on, we get bigger plants that are able to close the canopy faster, capture more sunlight, and ultimately get more yield. We have to do it by putting that nitrogen in the right place, which for soybeans, maybe not at the base of the plant. Right, and, and guys, you can see it here. So if, if you see that one white stick and then that, that stick further to my right, you can see the four rows there that are much larger, taller than the other four rows uh, to the right over there. And uh, what a difference. Uh, and so what are you guys noticing in terms of yield response? Yeah. yeah, so last year when we did this study, we got a six bushel yield advantage okay. to uh, putting that broadcast nitrogen out pre-plant. Right. And for 75 pounds of nitrogen, even with these elevated commodity costs, it's a three bushel to pay cutoff for that application. And we got six bushel yield increase. So at $15 beans, that's $45 right in your pocket just by putting that nitrogen uh, on That's a pretty good ROI, if you ask yeah, me. Well, guys, thank you very much. Uh, it was a pleasure uh, speaking you. with you. Uh, it's July 1st. Um, this is part of our expert series as part of the 2021 U.S. Corn Belt Crop Tour. I hope you learned something here today. We'll continue to help you along the way. Thanks for watching.